hello there, this is a ship flying into an asteroid field around a planet. And the planet is in T Tauri, which is uh, quite a bit south of the bubble near the California Nebula. And it's been the site of uh, a bit of the in-game story in the last couple of years. And uh, quite a lot of commanders have been out that way. It's not hugely close to the bubble. You've got to, you've got to take a few jumps there. It's a, it's a crate, so it's capable of doing that. They have quite a good jump range, crates do. And this screenshot was taken by Katie Chaos, who's a, a streamer I, I watch, and, and just happened to put her name down for a giveaway on a charity stream uh, I was uh, supporting a while back. And Katie's name came up, so uh, she got in touch with the uh, the picture. This picture is quite significant, really, because uh, it's taken around the time that her faction was supporting Operation Witch Hunt. Now, Operation Witch Hunt is a commander-led endeavour that uh, was built on the story that was put out in the game. Uh, people got quite into the story, and strong opinions were formed about certain things this uh, dastardly mad scientist was doing in his ongoing effort to rid the galaxy of the evil alien Thargoids. So we all got quite involved in it. It was a really good story. Uh, I, I helped out with, with quite a lot of videos actually. There's nine like 10 minute long videos about the history of this in-game story. So I won't explain it greatly here, except to say that, you know, Evil Nutter uh, wants to use his magic death ray and people got a bit uppity about it. And the guy who was the uh, evil xenocidal maniac was called Caleb Witcherly. And uh, he had, and he'd artificially extended his life and was about 200 years old at this point that the story was going on and referred to as the witch. And this is the part of the story that's carrying out here at um, Titori. There's a place called Hind Mine at Titori, which is an asteroid base, one of the sites run by Azimuth Biotech, the company that Witcherly was in charge of. And it's a beautiful system, that whole area, part of the galaxy. <laughs> the uh, Hind Mine particularly is just, uh, it's just great and with the backdrop and uh, yes, and so a lot of the members of this Operation Witch Hood community were doing quite a lot of stuff to try and remove the influence of Azimuth Biotech, the company, in the various systems they could be found in by running missions against them and fighting their ships and so forth like that. So this is what uh, Katie's doing here in this, this picture. But um, there's always time for a nice screenshot, isn't there? So I contacted Katie when I'd done the picture and asked if there was anything specific about it, uh, just generally, that she wanted to say. So I, I got a little bit of audio from her, which is really nice of her. I feel really, feel really proud to have got this. It's so sweet. Anyway, so I will play that and you can listen to it. And then I, I, I suspect I might still be drawing pictures afterwards. So I, I will talk at you some more afterwards. Thank you. The picture this screenshot was based on was taken towards the end of the Azimuth Saga. Um, I was conducting operations for the witch hunt, shall we say, um, doing some shenanigans. We were trying to take all of Azimuth's um, health systems away from them. I was coming out of Hind Mine, um, in, which is based in the belt, you can see you know, on this picture. And it was just one of those moments in the game where you go, wow, this game is beautiful. You know, this game is stunning at times. And it just still just has that ability to um, to take your breath away like that. That is that is so right though. And that's pretty much why I do these pictures because just there are some amazingly, and it is just a computer game and they are just pixels on the screen and all that. But the, They've done such a lovely job of making it look so good and, and it's so, so nice to be among it and find a place where the, the sun shines through the cloud, the rocks are rotating and catching the light or the shapes are also angular and, and the darks and lights are colliding with each other and maybe there's lasers and maybe there's gas clouds and maybe there's distant, hidden, shadowy, mysterious things and it makes the game more enjoyable. The gas giant in the distance was quite an ominous sort of maroony dark colour and I'm not sure I managed to quite show that as well as I was hoping I would. But there's quite a few kind of ruddy autumnal colours down there in, in the Californian nebula and around that area. 
the nebula itself gives everything that that flamey backdrop which which makes it unmistakable really you, you know you know what you're looking at when you see it just the same as in the uh, spirograph nebula you know that somebody's gone to gone to the spirograph nebula and taken a photograph there because they they're such notable shapes and swirls and things and and through it all you've got those brilliant points of light and each one of those is a star and it's got its own worlds around it too anyway i, I think that's this one done as much as I think I can with this. Thanks for watching anyway. I appreciate it. Bye.